trashy. And I would say the best one that you could get out of it is this one, the drone. But it's more of a futuristic drone. I do have an idea that I'm going to do. Um, but I have to buy another one of these so I can actually do it. So build itself is behind the box. I built it already. Let me just get this off here so I can show you the box. Stand the minifigure on the wing, but that's not how it's supposed to do. These these two builds, they actually have a spot for the minifigure. The one up here has a spot right there, and the one up here has a spot right there. So the instructions are really cool. Keep in the box, like always. This one is this one is a pretty cool. That one that I showed you is a pretty cool build too. Um, now targets. This was a nine. I was waiting for this set. Target or rumor, but it did not. With these set with the Christmas and the Christmas set, they were definitely going to be. But they didn't even have it, so I lied to the lie to you and um, lied to you. But me and my stupid self, this is not. Um, I did not check the Lego one. Like that, like that squish, but I popped it in. It was just nothing you could fix. It was something you could fix. This is more of a futuristic explorer drone. Like, you know a real great regular drone where you could just buy it at an electronic store or something? Or buy it somewhere? Yeah, this one is not the type of drone. It's not the type of drone that has four little propeller things. And I have a way that maybe, maybe, just maybe, I could make this mock. I can make this into my very own drone. And I think you know the one that I'm talking about. So, the one that I have here, I'll probably buy, like, one more of these. And then just break this one apart and, you know, do it how I want it. Um, yeah, and then just buy another one later or ask for it for Christmas. Ten bucks set, probably ask for this one for Christmas. So then I could have a futuristic drone. Um, this one on the box. And I could just have my normal mock, drone mock. I'll show you how I'm going to do that when I get the sets. Because I was going to just buy two more. But then, I would have wasted $30 that I could have that I could have spent on another set. But, um, yeah. So, I guess I'm just going to buy one more. Just another 20 But that still but that still makes me sound stupid. Because 10 plus 10 is 20 And I could have bought in a $20 set with minifigures and all. But, I tried to get sets that don't have minifigures in them. Because that just makes it... I'm trying to grow a back. I don't know if I told you that. I think I told you that in my big news video. But if you don't know, I'm trying to grow a black backlog back there. But, um... Um... So I try to get sets that don't seem very interesting to me. But I actually do like the build intentionally. And 
Um, there's no minifigures. I don't I usually I get. I try to get sets that I like, but I don't like that much, and that I don't have minifigures in them. Because most of the times when I get Lego sets, it's usually just for the minifigures, the cool exclusive minifigure parts, or just the minifigures in general that they come with. Like another set that I'm thinking about getting is the Spider-Man Doc Ock um, heist. Um, that's you can barely find that set anymore, like anywhere. I checked it up. I just, first of all, it's like thirty-three dollars, a way overpriced. Like you should be like a twenty-five dollar set or something like that. And I mean, it's definitely worth twenty-five dollars for the exclusive and older Doc Ock that it comes with. They did came up with a new one of those. But besides the fact of me talking and showing you this box, let's show you guys this part of the box. It shows you the actual size of the little camera. Right there. And then it shows you the three builds all put together. There is the um, speedboat. There is the drone, the one that I built. And there is the airplane. And then on the back, same thing. It's just a bigger, better shot. They have this one. It has the speeder boat. It has the little airplane. And then it has the drone, the one that I built again. And there's a three in one, the number, set number. And then some more advertisements down here. But on the other side of the box, the glorious and most best part of every Lego set you buy, the barcode. Like, this is, like, the most interesting part. You could have just took all the pieces out, threw them in the garbage, kept the box, and still had the barcode, and I would have been fine. Because the barcode is just amazing. Uh, um... And then we have some more information here. We've got the Lego symbol, um, the set number, and then just a whole bunch of other information about lego.com, which I did order something, some pieces from off there. But anyways, let's get into those without the chatter. Let's get into the build. Here it is. So this is the drone, fully complete and built. And here's your minifinger. You know what? I was going to use that minifinger, but I don't think I am. I always forget where I keep my minifigures. I have one right here. We have an experience, I'm guessing, police officer. So, you open the little cockpit up. This is a really cool cockpit, cockpit piece. And then you open it up, pull the handle back, sit him down. And a minifinger can fit in here. Look, if you pop them down. And then pop this up. There we go. See, look, a minifinger can fit in here. And then there is some move. Let's show you this. It's just a, looks like a little seat with some pieces. I like the shape of this. And it was on sale for $10, plus the extra $2 off because the box was dented. They gave it to me for $8, which I think is a steal. I was going to save this set into my backlog and just buy another one and then make the drone that I wanted. But I also wanted, because the drone, like a normal drone, it can't actually fit things on it, of course, even in real life and in Lego form. And this one can, and it's super cool, and it is pretty futuristic. It's not one of the drones you could buy at, like, an electronics store or anything. But it is really cool. I think you could actually buy a drone like this. But I'm talking about, like, the classic drones. I'm just going to say that. And they know how drones have those cameras on them. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was what that was supposed to mock or, I mean, duplicate. And, um, there is, ouch, I think I cut my hand. Oh, yeah, I definitely cut my hand. Freck, that hurts. Okay. You know what? We'll deal with that after the video. There is some movability in the little, um, standards right here. The standards right here. And they could, and there is some mo mobility in the legs part. So you can make it look like a grabber. If it's up in the air, you can just put them both together like that. And make it look like little claws. But if you want to put it down, that wouldn't have worked. See, look, it wouldn't have worked if you wanted to put it down. See, look, it just falls backwards. So, yeah. But you can open it up and make it stand up, of course. And then... 
bottom, nothing much to the bottom. I don't know why they put a clip here. There's nothing there. Let me see on the box, maybe it'll show you. Yeah, there's nothing on this clip piece, so I don't know if that's for it. But, we'll probably do a little bit of modifications to this to make this a zombie safe drone. Yes, I'm going that far. Uh, and then there's a little cockpit. I mean, not a cockpit. I dropped this thing on the floor on the concrete because I brought it outside. Stupid idea. And there's some scratches on the pieces, if you can't already see that. I hate that yellow tint. I got like a yellow light bulb. I need to get a white shining light bulb because I hate the yellow tint. But um, you can sort of see now that there's some scratches and dents on there because I dropped this backwards just like that on the concrete. And then behind here, this is sort of the land pad. So the pieces won't get scratched up from the corners at the bottom. So it could just land on the pad right there. I like to call it pad, but, um, call it anything you want. These little clip pieces, these just do come off pretty easily. But then the drone wouldn't be able to fly. It'd just look like a helicopter or something. See, look. So those are that without the little propellers. Now, let's take a look at the propellers. There's a right one and a left one. This one has some, like, nice little red lights, I'm assuming, and then the orange piece that connects it to, to I like the color, of the color scheme of this, too. Forgot to say that. And then those the little propellers. Nothing much about this that spins. Some circle, a circle right there. And then there's the little um green and red stoplights. I'm assuming if other um other helicopters were following them. I'm assuming like like um uh, brake lights or something. I don't know. I don't drive, so I wouldn't know. But um, got this piece right here, and then. The shape of this thing is super cool, too. I think I said that, but... Yeah, that's all for this set. There's some mobility in there, of course. And there's mobility. Is there mobility in there? No, I thought it could move this way. So there's... Another thing about the set is there is a lot of mobility. In the set, the camera moves up and down. This moves up and down like it's supposed to. This moves up and down like it's supposed to. These move, these move right here, these move too. So yeah, that's pretty cool. That's the set that I've been wanting to get off of my list. And um, needed to do that. Uh, I don't know why I didn't buy the set when I had the choice. When I had like 80 bucks. And I could have brought like a, this set and a whole bunch of others. I could have bought like a... I could have bought... I could have bought... Two twenty dollar sets and this set. Oh my god, I'm so I'm triggered right now. But don't even worry about it, guys. I don't know why slime interrupted my video today, but but anyways, besides the point, let's get into the extra pieces and then we'll be done with this video. These are the extra pieces. I like to keep them in a container so they don't get lost. There's this little gut here. And sometimes you know when there's pieces in here that are not supposed to be extra, and I did not see any of those pieces in here today. So I'm just going to assume that these are the extras. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure, to, make sure to give it a big thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel to show some support, and make sure you join the Lego Pack. Peace.